Welcome to the Dirt Shed Show, where this week we'll be looking at the poll results from last week. Whoa, Sam Hill's got a new tattoo. And Martin has got an award. Oh, sweet. Good, let's get going. It's the Dirt Shed Show. So last week we had a poll and we asked the viewers, you guys, what you ride, full suspension or hardtail? And the results are in. Yes, and I went with hardtail. I thought the majority would be on hardtail because they're cool, like me, because I think <laughs> hardtails are rad. Whoa, and I said full suspension. Are, and the results are 52% hardtail. Oh, yes. I'll tell you what, that's quite a surprise. We both ride full suspension. I'm going to go with the full suspension side. So we're in the minority. It's true. But only just. Yeah. It goes to show that hardtails aren't dead. So I've seen this pretty cool piece of news. Bex Barona, who's a young Enduro World Series rider, has actually started this raffle to try and get some money together to pay for her race season next year. It's really hard. So she's basically got loads of product from some of her sponsors and said, right, give us 50 quid, you get a ticket, and there'll be 50 Genius. lucky winners. Yeah, that is amazing. Yeah. Just so hard to get out there on a pro circuit. We all know what it's like trying to get a season done. But I guess it's sort of an extension of that GoFundMe idea, isn't Definitely it? It's like yeah. literally getting out there. Well, I hope she gets some support. In other news, Sam Hill has got a new tattoo and it's a tribute to Steve Smith. Yeah, and the other thing that actually happened, this was on what would have been Stevie's birthday. So what an amazing tribute for Sam to actually go out and do that because it's quite the piece of artwork. Yeah, it's a lovely touch and it echoes the feelings in the mountain biking community and how important Stevie Smith was to the sport. God damn. I said God damn. Have you seen this Fabio Wibner new video? What uh, a lunatic. What a lunatic. 200 meters up on a railing. Yeah. Um, I mean, 100 meters is enough. Wow. Well, 200 is excessive. Um, what do you think about that? Well, I've never ridden a long rail. I'm sure you have. I've ridden along some rails, and to be fair, when you've got a small drop one side, it is really easy to not fall off the high side, but it's so high. Um, um, it's so high that you can't really make it like, oh, it's fine. It's not fine. He could on. die. Give us a little bit of an insight. How would you go about doing that? How would you prepare? And how would you manage well, to actually get on the The car? hardest part is the starting. Once you get started, actually, it's fine because you're not actually thinking about the drop. If you were, that's probably where you'd end up. You're just thinking about the rail itself. But getting started is the key. If you get that bit wrong, <laughs> you're dead meat. I'll tell you what, it's not one for me. Don't really like right. those heights. And just balancing there, thinking, oh man, yeah. good fall. Yeah. If you're feeling brave, uh, follow yeah. the link in the description and um, yeah, get ready for some vertigo. Uh, anyway, time to move on to the. So wait else. a minute, wait a minute, we're not finished with this week's news. Oh, right. There was more news. Mentioned it in the intro, Scott. What was it? An award. Yeah, oh, an award. Your 50 meter swimming badge. No, no, no. It was the yoga pose. Oh. No, it wasn't my yoga pose. It was the Pink Bike Comeback of the Year that Award. Was it. Well done, Martin. Yes, now you guys shouldn't uh, shimmy over that so quickly because you're a big part of that comeback. Oh, thank you. Uh, these boys helped me get my uh, Fort William project off the ground and in the can, and we won an award for it. That was pretty cool for Pink Bike to recognise yes. that. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you, Pink Bike. And sure. I beat, guess I beat, Sam Hill and Danny Hart. <laughs> Who are they? It's probably the first and last time you'll ever beat those two. <laughs> Most Three high five to it. Let's do that. We should practice that. Ah! Have you guys seen this pro closet, Missy Giove? A little insight into a real legend. Yeah, absolute legend. She was wild on and off the bike. I've heard lots of Missy Giove stories and her bike's actually really cool. Like, mm. It's cool to hear her talk about it. Yeah, and it seems like she's still very well. Now, Scott, are you even old enough to remember Missy Jove. I know the name, but I can't say that I know too much about her racing career. Oh, well, she was a pretty crazy girl, world champion on downhill. She's a teammate of yours. Yeah, she used to be my teammate on Volvo Cannondale. All I do know is that she has a bit of trouble. Yeah, a bit of trouble, but this is definitely something worth checking out because you get to see a little bit of the behind the scenes of what it's like to be Missy Joe. Now check out this picture of Paddy Davidson. He sent this in his brand new GMBN jersey. They're in the post, people are getting them. It's cool to see. Yeah, Looking I've had a good. couple of Instagram tags as well yeah, of people too. actually wearing them, riding them, saying how stoked they are that they've got them and representing the channel. So get yourselves along to the shop. The link's in the description down below and you can buy yourself a GMBN jersey. And look just like Paddy on his 16th birthday. Happy birthday to you. Progression session this week, and the first one comes from Whistler. It's from Andrew Lunka. And let's take a look. Yeah, he's on A line. He's going for it. This is the beginning of the week, I suggest. Um, uh, it goes for the drop. I think he cases this a little bit. I remember yeah. this well around he's the corner. Just, just feeling his yeah. way through the run. Yeah. Um, and then he doesn't go for that double, but 
cut to later in the week where he's feeling a bit more confident. He knows the trail, yeah. does the drop. Yeah, it gets got a nice more, speed. more speed. Whack! Ooh. And nails a jump. That is good. Now that is progression. And I can actually tell you, that's not a small jump. It's actually no. pretty big. Done so well. Nice well one, done. Andrew. Well done, Andrew. The next one comes from Carson Valentine, and he loves GMBN. Cheers, Carson. Check this out. He's doing this pretty amazing manual down the street. Yeah. What's he? That's a great little video, actually. Love a good manual. Yeah. So much fun. It's making it look nice, too. Oh, he's even beaten Sick. the car look. Sick skills. Good filming as well. Got to say, progression sessions, one of my favorite parts of the show. So make sure that you keep them coming to dirtshed at gmbn.com. Time for the scary bit. Fails and bells. And we're going to start with, well, look at this photo. Yeah. Th Whoa. This is Mark in a yeah. cross country race in Australia. Hits this ditch and has a massive OTB straight into his GoPro. Here's the footage. Ow. Yuck. Face punk. Well, I don't know about you boys, but I think I've had enough of fails and bells. Should we call it a day then? No, no, no. Run VT. Time for viewer edits. Yeah, and we're off to New Zealand for the first one, Rotorua. Oh, excited. I've never been, it's all these, it looks amazing. Right, let's have a look. Oh, a bit of follow cam. Hey, nice, nice leopard print on that helmet. That is cool. Yeah, it does look great. These smells smells of amazing. rotten eggs, though, apparently. Oh, no. no that's the sulfur, I think, in the air from the hot springs. That might be true. Wow, and you don't get that from this edit, which no. is a shame. Which is a shame. Great edit though, we got off topic. <laughs> but Shannon, it's a lovely clip. Thank you for sending it in. And what we got next? The next one that we've got is called Autumn Storm by Danny Van Oort. So let's take a look, shall we? Yeah, I really like this one, guys, because it feels like a normal day out. Really feels like you've gone mountain biking when you've watched it. And Danny's yeah. obviously having a very good day. He's filming himself. Multiple angles. Yeah. That is the Ooh, key to getting good GoPro video. Where yeah. is this? Holland, Belgium, somewhere like that? Well, I'm guessing by the surname. I'm going to say, no, I'm gonna say Holland, actually. Holland. That looks good, yeah. isn't it? it? does look nice. I'll tell you what, I like that shot with the leaves. You know, it's very autonomous. Last one for viewers edits this week is Josh Han's little trail riding video uh, on a pump track. It's pretty cool. Take a look at these guys. Brisbane, uh, Australia. Well, yeah. fast around there, isn't he? Well, he speeded it up at this point, but yeah, got you. don't worry. He does, he does go back to normal speed and he's having a very good day out. Mates, oh, I'd, love a, little, I'd love a little well. pump track like this near my house. Yeah. It looks look, super cool. Pump tracks. Do you know so what would be fun. even better than it near your house? In your back. Little garden. manual. Yes. Oh, little, little crash there. It's a great viewer edit. Thanks, Josh. If you've got an edit that you'd like to send in, then you know where it needs to go. It needs to go to dirtshed at gmbn.com. We love seeing them, don't we? We do. <laughs> the caption contest from last week is Scott Draper going down a big puddle, <laughs> mud going everywhere. Have you ever done this? Uh, loads of times, yeah. yeah. And a good one came from Javio Sam, and the caption was chocolate milk tubeless. Exploded. Uh, yeah, Reed Herman says, our savers are good, but not good enough to prevent this. Oh but I've got the winner. It's from the 802 man, and he says, we need too much Taco Bell before going for a big ride. Oh, well, that is a problem. Yeah, send us your details, dude, you're a winner, and we'll send a prize. And let's take a look at this week's photo, ready for your captions. Neil, you're looking sexy in this one. Thanks. What are you doing? Shooting the gun. Top comments from last week's show, and this one comes from Aidan Cougar. And Martin, last week you said that trials riders are the best. They yes. ride hardtails. Yes, they do. What about Danny McCaskill, who rides a full suspension bike an awful lot these days? Heard of him? May have heard of him. Mm. Okay. Who's my point? Not always right. <laughs> Shame. Shame. Um, I've got another comment here from Derek Eggleston, um, and he's saying, Scotty, where have you been the last few weeks? Last few weeks? Well, last week I did one big road trip. Flew into Seattle, then went into Portland, and then drove on to Santa Cruz for some riding, 
some turkey dinners and good times. Nice. Live in the life. LTD, hashtag. It was a lot of fun. Some cool piece of tech that I've seen is this Starling bike. It's handmade in someone's shed. It's a steel 29er. Looks really cool and it looks really fast. All the angles look perfect on this. Wow, yeah. that's pretty sick because you don't see many A steel bikes. And I've not seen many steel dual suspension 29er bikes. It's cool to see someone just building a bike in their shed and selling it. I love it. Yeah, and it's been tested and people are saying it's very, very quick. Mm. Oh, look what's coming in, oh, boys. Nice. Not this yeah. Let me just have the marshmallows there. I'm rubbish at these quizzes. Looking good. Quiz time. <laughs> right, boys, are you ready? Now, the right. rules are, if you get the question wrong or you do not answer, or you're not quick enough to answer before your competitor, i.e. Scott or Neil, you have to eat a marshmallow. Put it in your mouth. Do not eat it. Right. Come on, then. Right. Ready. First question. Rampage was won by Brandon Semenek, but what wheel size did he use? 27.5. 26. He used 26. Shove that in your gob. Yeah. <laughs> what three countries are new to EWS calendar in 2017? New, Ze New Zealand. Oh. That's, oh. put that in your mouth. Go on, Neil, you've got to go. Tasmania and... Put one in your mouth. Australia. That's right. Portugal, New Zealand and Australia. You're a close mate. Who is this? Show picture. <laughs> no? <laughs> Steve Pete. No, unlucky. It was Kurt Sorge. Um, who was the Queen of Crankworks in 2017? Joel Kinton. Joel Kinton. Mm -hmm. When? 2017. Mm, 2016. That's for Neil. Oh. Um, what is the first round of the 2017 downhill calendar? Lawrence. It is. Oh, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> John Tomac was multiple world champion, but who is his son? I don't know that. I put my hand up first. No, you both get away with that one. It's a good answer. It was Eli Tomac. And the last question this week, who was famous for wearing what around her neck? Mrs. Geo. Uh, what was piranha. it? Dad Piranha. You've got to eat two for that because you missed out. <laughs> put them both in your mouth. She's too old. We need me. a big finale, Scott. Put them in your mm. mouth. I'm putting one because then put it in your mouth. Put Double it bag it. <laughs> Double bag it. <laughs> right. That's the end of the quiz. Let's watch these two guys choke on mallow. Mm. Swallow them. Don't throw <laughs> them around. Heat them up. <laughs> <laughs> Food fight! Black boy! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love a quiz, me! Ah! Well, Incoming. Rat. Right. We'll have to do the rat again, won't we? Okay. Rat coming in. Whoa, he's gone. Throw it quicker. Oh. Shout outs! Incoming. Rat! <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Your boy, you. He's coming in hot. <laughs> <laughs> What's your shout out, okay. Scott? My shout out this week is Scottish Shredding with Style. It's a kid called Ryan Milton and he's got a lot of style, having fun on his bike, building some trails, building some jumps, and it's cool little edit from Studs Legal. And my shout out this week is Kenny Belay and Tom Ola in a trials playground uh, full of really insane obstacles. Um, they ride over a fish at one point and it's got cartoon in it. It's worth checking out. It's the banger. This week, I'm gonna throw it to a rider that actually rode in Santa Cruz with, McKay Vizina. He rides for the Co Factory Giant Team, super fast, and he actually beat a lot of the Factory Giant Team. So, you should go and check him out, give him a follow, because I think this kid is gonna be the next big thing in Enduro. I think you should check out Tom Caldwell, a young video maker, made a slice of British pie, a brilliant film, and his Instagram's awesome. Uh, and I'm going to throw to Lindsay Runks, uh, a fellow adaptive athlete. She's in the very cool club that I have joined, uh, <laughs> full of spinal cord injured riders. Um, but she's a very inspirational young lady and she's doing some cool stuff and she's always getting out on the trails. Okay, it's time for my favourite bit of the show and I think it's increasingly becoming your guys' favourite mm. too. It's the bike fault. Let's Especially get in Especially this week because we've got some marshmallows. Well, goes without saying. Let's get into it. Okay, Vaso Cosmac. Uh, he's got a very nice Santa Cruz and it's a big start this week. Super nice. Ooh, Super I'd nice. have to agree. That's Straight cool. Straight in there. Very, very cool little bike. Um, and our next video, oh, the photo's not great. Bit but the Patrico bikes... is from Mexico. Yeah, Mexico. Um... I don't know if we've, I don't know if we can get one from Mexico and not give it a Super Well, it's actually in Kelowna. I think that's, that's a nice. Study. It's a nice, it's yeah. nice. Good try, Patrico. Good start. Yeah. You know, looking forward to seeing your next photo. 
Oh, I like that. No. Staten Island, Rob Oh, Cotaro. I like that place. It's a cool looking place. Isn't it? I feel like a crocodile is just about to jump out of that water. Mm. Unlikely in New York, but... Unlikely, yes. I'm going like. to give that a super nice. Wow. A super nice? I think I agree. I like the trees in the background, you know, the different colours. Super nice. Armando Rios in Panama City. He hasn't told us much more than that. In fact, nothing more than that. Um, um, for me, that gets a nice. It's a nice bike. It's a yeah. nice bike. Uh, wait a minute. Whoa. Well, a, uh, don't usually you see people in the vault. Um, because, no hats in the vault. Uh, Alex Sweetman in Manchester. You don't often get sunny sunny evening shots like that in Manchester. <laughs> Tell you what, he's down the pump track as well as downhill bike. That must be hard work. Yeah, that is an orange as well, and they are they are blooming nice bikes. Yeah. Should we give them? Super nice. Whoa. <laughs> Super nice. Wow, nice Oh, nice. Look at that bloody hole in the trail. Good God, you want to fall down there? Mm -hmm. Thomas Quick. That's a good name for yeah, a name. Like right, the right? name yeah. Thomas Quick in, um, in Krakow. This is nearly That's black and white. It's a 27 plus bike. Whoa. Jeff Gardner. How do you feel about that? Um, I like it. I like yeah. the well, special now, tails. Jet Gardner is saying that it's his second attempt um, and he's attached his Hella Carbon, which we can't get many of, um, which we don't. I've never heard of it, actually. Um, but it's pretty I'm cool. Gonna, I'm going to give it a nice. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm, I'd have to agree. I'm not really into the plus bike thing yet. Oh, sorry, Jet. I was with you there, but there we are. Um, wait, matching wait, bikes. Wait. I don't think this oh, is... Ex hang on a minute. It's his and hers. Hey, guys, my husband and I really enjoy your show. You guys you... rock. We're big fans. Wait, I really wait, love wait, mine. Wait, wait, You're so really funny and cute. Mine. Are it you, says I'm funny. Let me enjoy this moment. You guys. have highlighted that as well. <laughs> she says I'm funny. You're quite right handed. You've highlighted that. Joelle. Um, Joelle, the between. feeling is mutual. And I love your bikes, by the way. They're super nice. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. What is that? Jason. Scott Henderson. Voltage. That is yeah. sick. Block suspension. Oh, Do you know what? Post. In it. He's got a super nice. <laughs> super nice. Ooh. Oh, there's a balloon in the background, it gets a super nice. Is that his name? John Paul Coffey. And Coffee. again, a 2017 model. Look at that balloon. I mean, he must have literally ridden around trying to Look get that in shot. hashtag too. Hashtag hardtail hard hero dual shock for the week. It's a super nice. Mm. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's a super nice. George. <laughs> yeah. George, that is super nice. There's a telephone. Nice. Everything is right about this photo. Yeah, the that's bike, a super nice bike. The bike's beautiful. The telephone, it's an old fashioned phone in the middle of nowhere. And he's saying it just rained last week. That's why the skies are so blue. The trail oh. conditions are perfect. And he's stoked. And he's got a super nice. Yeah. Oh, that was one of the best bolts ever. That, I don't think a single one of those bikes should be That next. has got to be my they favourite were, bolt, I think. They were and great. you know what, Mark? I am really getting into it these days. So oh, good. I think it was the marshmallows that made a big difference. I think it's the sugar. Thanks for sending them in. Keep your bikes coming for the bike vault to dirtshed at gmbn.com. Coming up on the channel this week. So tomorrow it's how to build a stronger core. And then on Sunday, we've got two videos. We've got the next installment of unboxing and it's dropper posts this week. So for your chance to win a Crank Brothers dropper post, be sure to tune in. And we've got a feature on heavy bike versus heavy body. On Monday, we've got top five mechanics hacks. And then on Tuesday, top five body position mistakes. And we've got an extra, a bonus. The gentleman's rules of mountain biking. Oh, can't wait for that one. On Wednesday, we've got three killer workouts. Thursday's Ask GMBN. And Friday, we're back in the shed for the Dirt Shed Show. Dirt Shed Show time. Well, another show. Well, it's Friday. It's over. Shane. Who's going out on the bike this weekend? Oh, uh, yeah. I think I will. Every single person who watched this show. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Sure. And you probably want to watch some more videos. So, yeah, you really hyped to get out on your mountain bike this weekend. So, if you click right here, you're going to see what it's like for me to ride on Neil's bike and whether bike setup matters. And if you click just here, you're going to see five epic descent tips. Click on my new long sleeve jersey to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the Dirt Shed Show.